I'm going to talk today about the topic that is my least favorite, but most asked about, whether it's out in real life, out in the streets, or just questions from viewers, and that is my hair. So I'm going to give you an update for 2019, let you know some new stuff that I've been doing, and just the same items and products I have been using and will continue to use. They just are that good. I'm going to first start off with the product that I will not stop taking on a daily basis, and that's my hair vitamins. Now, I've talked about these vitamins all the time. I preach them and they work for me and from viewers that have purchased the uh, Ridgecrest Hair Revive Fights Women's Hair Loss, you've stated as well that it's been working for you. I have a dedicated video already for the Hair Revive Vitamin, so I definitely recommend to watch that. You'll find out a little bit about the history, how long I've been taking it, um, even how I even came across the vitamins. They truly are the best, I feel, for me and I'm not going to stop using it. There's no reason, no reason reason at all to stop taking it. The tools that I use on a daily basis, this stuff is just pretty much, you know, the basic when you talk about grooming. So I did replace my um, hair, what are these, combs. I did replace the combs. I tend to just grab what combs I see at CVS because I'm just trying to add up my extra bucks in my head. And it tends to be from the brand Conair. When I am flat ironing my hair, I will use either the long comb or I'll just use the uh, shorter comb here, the medium size. And I will use this when I'm flat ironing. I do have a video on that too where I just comb through my hair at the same time. I do it the same way that my hairdresser does it to be honest. I just pay attention to how she does it and that's how I do it at home. This just tends to, I feel, make the um, my type of my hair texture, which is fine, fine textured hair relaxed if I didn't mention that already. It just tends to make it where it's straighter and I can get to every strand. This brush is from, I think it's called the wet brush. I'll have everything listed in the uh, info box. So I have this one and then I have a shorter one without a handle. So it's just the paddle that you hold and that is a detangler brush as well. I prefer to use those detangle type brushes to comb out my hair whether it's wet or whether it is dry. That's just what I don't want any snags. I don't want to worry about my hair breaking. I just pr prefer to use those brushes. I also use the Turby Twist headbands. I have two of them. Before I hop into the shower, I just will go like this and cover my hair. Now my hair is already pulled back in a, um, like a bun or it's in a ponytail, but it's also twisted very loose. So that way it doesn't get wet underneath this. And then I put my shower cap on top of it. I used to just use the regular shower caps that were in that material that's like appropriate, like waterproof. And not only do those spoil fast, I'm just thinking about the, the bacteria and around the ring that goes around your hairline, how that rubber, like you'll have makeup on it and just get into my skin. That just was, I just was like, no, I don't want to deal with that. So I have the black one here, or if I wanted to wear this one, to bed at night after I wrap it. It just depends. It's nice to just have two on hand. Nighttime use again I'll use either the another silk uh, cap or I'll use the one that really kind of molds to your head and that one I get also at Walmart. It's a, a man is on the front. I don't remember the the style. I know it's it's just a man on the front. He's got it on his on his uh, head, and it's like half. It goes halfway around. I'll try and insert a picture if I can find it. But that's just what I put on my head. I know it's not the most attractive way to look before you go to bed, but I could care less. There's nobody. There's nobody here, and I care more about my hair. Other items that I use in my hair, I will alternate between the big banana clips, and everything is in my my head very loose. I don't make anything too tight. Ponytails are not very tight. I just kind of loosen it up. I have like a scrunchie but the newer versions of the scrunchie, like this one is kind of, well, very loose. Then I have this black one. Usually I always tend to be black. You know, as artists, we always, we live in our black. I've been using these since I think the, the last time I talked about my hair update. So I 
think I got these from Amazon. I forgot, I'll have it linked. But these are have been so good. They hold my hair good because my hair is fine so nothing falls out. And it feels okay because like this isn't interfering with like my head on a pillow or if I'm propped up to, like to watch TV in bed. And best of all, and then the best thing is that in the morning when I pull it out of my head, it's a uh, hair, it's not, um, it's not grabbing anything you know like sometimes you'll pull it out and it's like you've got all these extra strands and it starts tugging these clips do not do that also use these clips too these are from good hair days they're the magic grip hair pins this one was in the front aisles right when i went into my sally beauty for some other products this is what it looks like here and they told me my girl that works in there she's like oh we moved these to the front because they were mentioned on um Glam Life Guru's um, YouTube channel. So she said people were coming in and asking for these clips. And so I go, oh, okay, let me go ahead and try these. And so I tried to, you know, kind of put it in my head and everything and they're okay I mean they were very inexpensive I think they were like $3.99 they're okay but they're not anything like I would have just ran out to get but I do blow dry my hair when it's wet so when I'm ready to actually blow dry it out I use this brush from brush lab so it's really big and it's got the vents inside. And that's what I like about it is I can actually take the dryer and just go over it like this, same as how my hairdresser would do it. And then I go down and just keeps it straight. Also, I can get a little bit of body in my hair because it just feels like, well, when I do it, I don't, it's just, I don't get, you know, you don't get the same results as when your hairdresser does it. But it just feels like I'm getting a little bit of body, a lot more on my crown versus like if I didn't use a big enough brush, if that makes sense. And again, it still just softens and, and loosens the curl as I am blow drying. So I do use this still. I've had this for. It feels like centuries, but I know it's not, and it still looks good. Like I just got it the other day. The blow dryer. Blow dryer is going to change. This should be the last time you're going to see this <laughs> before I give it a new home. It's a good hair dryer. It has not broken down. Hair dryers last forever with me because I don't wash my hair and blow dry as often probably as some people do. Um, in my hair playlist and I go talk about in detail like how often I, I wash my hair. I can stretch it out to five weeks. I know you're gonna gasp. What? You don't wash your hair for five weeks and I can wash it every three weeks. My workout now how stuff has been changing within me. I, I can't go no. <laughs> I can only go three weeks so I do wash my hair now I used to stretch it to five and let Lauren do it but now I'm back to three so when I do blow dry it this is the dryer that I use also for 2019 I have increased my workouts they just have been helping me so much mentally it really has been helping and relieving stress and just as a as an added plus you know you get healthier and, and you lose weight but it's the internal benefits that have made me just like I, I can't I this is such a part of my life now so with this hair dryer what I was doing is kind of I would come home and I would notice that my hairline is you know it's very it's still like wet from my workouts so what I said to Lauren I said you know I'll have my hair really straight like you did my hair and then it's like a few days it feels like it's done because you know it's growing the, hair, the growth is coming back so fast because of my workouts it just seems to happen like that and first she said well maybe that's what you just needed to probably do was increase your workouts because my hair was responding <laughs> to that it was just growing a lot in our in the middle she would um, measure the short middle and long and the middle part of my head was just growing like a week so what she recommended I do is put the dryer on the cool setting and just dry up like my hair uh, hairline and the edges and then I kind of shake it inside a little bit with on the cool setting. Now I know it's first world problems but for this one you have to really press down. I'm talking so deep your finger is practically hurting to get the cool setting to come out. 
I'll do it, right? But if you ask me, am I tired of doing it? Yeah. Am I tired of doing it on like a daily basis? Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna lie. Now with the Dyson, all you do is flick it, flick the switch, <laughs> flip, flip it up. And I mean, that air is just boom, comes out and it's cold. And I was like, okay, again, care about my workouts, care about my hair. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm sold. Sold. I have a 20% off coupon from Ulta and it actually states for the Dyson as well because that is so rare to get a discount on any Dyson products from the salon. And my last styling tools I still have are my, um, what are these, the flat irons. I don't remember if my old one had broke in my last update. So I'll just tell you I have the Hot Tools. I got it during whatever it was, Ulta's 21 Days of Hair event or whatever hair event they do. I just asked Lauren again, which one should I pick out? And she told me the Hot Tools is good. So she told me, you know, pick up this one. So this is the one I have. I think it's an inch and then you do the pluses and the minuses here. It heats up to 450 degrees. But again, I don't use it often to where it's like I should have it on a lower setting, 450. I just use it that time and now I'm done with it. Then, and I also, then I also have this one here that she also had recommended to me. I usually tend to take this one with me if I travel because it goes up to I think 200 degrees, 250 degrees. If I need to bump anything, if I need to straighten anything out, just you know, depending on what I'm doing, vacation, business, whatever. Um, I take this one, Alexis Pro. This is the one she had as well. This will straighten your hair, but my hair doesn't look the way it does when she does it. <laughs> Here we go again. If I go and I get my hair washed and blow dried and everything, and she used to flat iron with this, my hair wouldn't look the same way. But then I would try and I'm like, it doesn't look the same. Let's close it out with my hair products. So the first one is my Uki D&L, the Deep and Light Scalp Cleansing. I already did a dedicated video on this hair care line that I received, it's from Japan. I love this scalp treatment and this is something that I, I feel I need to have it in my hair care routine. Especially because I don't wash it often, I feel that when I put it on, I just put it onto my scalp, my scalp feels so incredibly clean. I just leave it on for a little bit, massage it in. It just, it feels so, it feels like everything is out of like any, everything, dirt, grime, everything. I just. I can't be without it. Shampoo, I still use my Redken All Soft. And this is the one that not only Lauren has recommended, I do tend to show her, okay, I, I maybe wanna try this uh, shampoo, I wanna try this. And if it has an oil in it, she'll say that will weigh down your hair because my hair is fine textured. Any type of oil, if it's heavy, it will just, it will, it'll just be limp. There's just nothing you can do about it. So All Soft is safe if you have like similar fine textured hair like me. I don't have the All Soft conditioner. I'm looking for it though. But I do have the Frizz Dismiss conditioners. This is the one that I use. But as long as it's, you know, still red can, I'm good to go. When I blow dry my hair, I have two of the Frizz Dismiss products. So this is the Rebel Tame Leave-In Smoothing Control Cream. Then this is the actual serum, the oil serum. So I just alternate between the two. Again, these will be stuff that uh, Lauren has already used on my hair. Or when I go see her, she puts this on my hair. Right after I blow dry my hair, I still use Shuamora's. This is their straightforward, time-saving blow dry oil for medium to thick hair. So you can can use this to blow dry your hair. Sometimes Lauren will put this in my hair and on the ends when she's blow drying it. But I don't do it that way because I feel I'm going to use too much of it. <laughs> I don't know, but I try to do what she does. Like she'll put some in the crown area, this part right here. And even the way she sprays it, I just, I can't get it that way. I'll try to do it, but I just feel I'm just going to use too much of it and it's an oil. So what I tend to do is, after I use the blow drying products, I'll spray some of this like into my hands and then I'll kind of go over my hair really fast and a little bit on the end. It is being used actually every five weeks because I take it with me when I go get my hair done. And Lauren uses this 
every time I'm here. So I, it's just, it's a fabulous product and I really do enjoy it. So take a look at that video if you want to go more in detail. This product only has a little bit left. So I need to use this the next time I do my hair. This is from Sexy Hair, Smooth and Seal, Smooth Sexy Hair, Anti-Frizz and Shine Spray. I have been using this for probably over 10 years. Yes, I've been using this for quite some time. This is a product sometimes I see at Marshalls and then I don't know why I just don't get it. <laughs> and then I'll go back and I'm like, oh, I gotta go get it and then it's gone. This is just so good. Again, for fine textured hair, doesn't weigh it down. Sometimes Lauren would use this on my hair too. It makes just the hair smoother. And when I blow dry, uh, not blow dry, when I flat iron it, I mean, it is stick straight. I'm done uh, flat ironed my hair. The last product I put on is a hair serum. So this is just to smooth it, add that shine to my hair, and it's just great. This is something I always will have in my uh, hair care routine. It just works so good on my hair. It doesn't weigh it down. I think because of just the way that this doesn't weigh down my hair when I very first discovered it is why I will never stop using it. And I tell people, if you have fine or uh, fine textured hair, thin hair, use this from Paul Mitchell. It's the Super Skinny Serum. I flip my hair over and I put one pump in, get it on the back of the hair on the ends, then flip it back over, take another pump, work it in, work it in the roots, do it in the front, and that's it. Then I wrap the hair up because I tend to like do my hair late afternoon, early evening, wrap it up in the morning. I got that little wave going on, which doesn't last very long, but this is what I use, like the last finishing product, and it's absolutely fabulous. Last two products are styling products that I use. I tend to use these when it's time, like it's getting close to the time for me to wash my hair, but I don't use it when, I, right, when like Lauren will do my hair, I won't touch these because again, I'm just not gonna have that buildup and I, I, I don't do much to the hair. It doesn't hold that curl if I wanted to do that, like spray some of this fun stuff, like this is a texturizer that I use, I like it. I actually bought it at Marshall's because I can't believe it was there. It's $10, but it's the Joko's Body Shape texturizing uh, finisher plush volume for fine medium fine to medium hair but what this does for my hair and I would go back on and off like through college I would use this so I never really talked about it on the channel but I would spray this in my hair like if I back then I would spray it like on a roller and kind of like those pink rollers that are sponge and then I would roll it up and then I would have like a little bit of bounce and I would have um, a curl to my hair that probably would last about an hour or two before it would fall but I just like this product and even though it's a texturizer I think of it as like almost giving that beachy look crunchy look without the crunch to it like a sea salt sea salt spray that's what I'm thinking of it's a good clean version of it but clean in the way it's like it doesn't leave any residue in my hair especially because my hair is um the color of it you can see you know any any anything like white or whatnot powder in your hair but that doesn't do that so I really do like that and the last product is a dry shampoo this is something that Lauren has recommended that I use because I finished up all my dry shampoos I will use dry shampoo when it is getting again close to when I either have to wash my hair and it just might feel like it may feel oily, it may feel like it's nasty and dirty. It's just probably a mental thing. So I will use my dry shampoo then. I think I have a video on how I use dry shampoo. Again, everything will be like in the cards or, or listed. But I do like this one. This is from Chlorine. Again, she recommended it. It's the dry shampoo with nettle oil control for oily brown to dark hair. Cleans hair without water. So I know, no I did do a dry shampoo video because I think people were having like different types of, um, what is it, opinions and views and so forth on that video. But when it comes to dry shampoo, it's something that I feel like I can feel my hair feels clean. It could be a mental thing, but if it smells clean too, and I'm you know brushing it out, and if there is anything in the strands, it's coming out with it. 
and I can almost use it like a texturizer too because I notice that I'll do the same thing. It's like close to bedtime and I'll use it and brush it out. Then I wrap my hair and I have that hold in my, my hair that next day. And it does, it helps my hair feel cleaner before I will wash it or, you know, before I go get my hair done by Lauren. I'm looking at my hair notes now. It was in May, May 8th actually was my appointment. And my uh, measurement at that time, so the short part of my hair was 14 inches, the middle part was 19 inches, and the long, so all of this that you see going on down there, was 22 inches. So Laura and I remember, just like it was yesterday, she kind of went like this and was like, okay, this is the thick part of your hair, and this is all this part down here that's, you know, um, looking uneven. Lauren said, you know, I want to cut it. Can I cut it or do you want to think about it? So I said, I don't need to think about it. Just cut it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to cry over it. I'd rather again have my hair healthy and grow. So she cut off two inches. That's what I wrote. And uh, oh, it says Lauren said the two inches were uneven and straggly. I did not hesitate to see it go. Then I go back June 12th. My uh, long part is 19 and a half, and the middle part is 18 inches. And actually the middle part, because she did cut that um, as well, has stayed at 18 inches for two hair appointments. And the short part has stayed about 13, uh, 14 inches as well. So the it's the long part here that is really showing, I would say, the most growth. Uh, June 12th, it went 19 and a half. So I grew a half an inch since she cut two inches off. And then July 17th, which is the date that I just went to, the long is now officially at 20 inches. So it's growing back to the 22 inches. And we're just going to see how long all three uh, pieces will be. The short, medium, and long will be by the end of the year. Let's see if it can grow down to the floor. <laughs> and we'll go from there. But that's it. That's my hair update for 2019, and we'll see how it looks by the end of the year, how much it's grown on its own, and just keeping it healthy and trimmed and hydrated and just leave it alone. That's all I do. That's the best thing I can do for my hair. Leave it alone and dirt <laughs> for the three weeks by not washing it. Like I say, dirt makes things grow. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the products, the tools, anything I've talked about, hair maintenance, any questions for Lauren, she will answer them down in the um, comment section. I'll just let her know if you have a question and her contact information too if you want to make an appointment. Some of you have already made appointments with her, so thank you. That's good to kind of throw some business her way. So thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to notify when um, I'm uploading. I want to see you back again. Again, have a wonderful day or evening, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.